So one of my partners got the chance to see this on opening night. And right before I went, I talked to him and he said, Mike, this is the best Marvel movie ever made. And after checking it out myself, I gotta say, I think my partner couldn't have been no more. So Spider-Man No Way Home is the latest in the Marvel MCU and the newest Spider-Man movie. And I'm pretty sure we've all seen the trailers where basically Doctor Strange and Spider-Man, Tom Holland's Spider-Man, try to do this spell to make everybody forget because remember in the last movie Mysterio revealed his identity. And he makes tweaks to the spell that ends up causing rifts in the multiverse and then as you saw from the trailer, because I'm trying to stay spoiler free, we get all the villains and all the old Spider-Mans from all the old movies. Now I know I start off by saying, man I'm so excited for this move, I was so hyped for this move, but I got to say I was dumb hyped for this one because I like all the Spider-Mans. Now I'm not saying they were all good, but I found enjoyment in all of them. So to see them bring back all the villains and all the Spider-Mans, I was just excited to see how it was going to go. For starters, the acting was really good. And I got to say, I don't think the acting has ever been bad in any of the MCU movies. Except maybe Captain Marvel, but I don't think her acting was bad. I think that she just had a boring, or not boring, a dull personality. But with that being said, that doesn't necessarily mean that she was a bad actor, or does it? Because when you embody the character, you should embody that personality. But with that being said, I have no idea what Captain Marvel's personality is like in real life or in the comic books. I digress. But other than that, I think the MCU does a great job casting everybody. For starters, I love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I feel like every time they cast as Spider-Man, he gets better and better at each one. And I liked all of them. It's just that each time they seem to fit the Spider-Man uh, uh, I guess you could say role a little bit better. Especially in Tom's case because he has that childish personality about him but he's kind of a tweener because when he has his serious moments and you can see that he's super intense it's just I just like him as Spider-Man okay and in this movie he shined again but I think everybody did because seeing Doctor Strange and Wong's personality and their banter back and forth seeing his friends Spider-Man's friends and how funny they could be and then especially bringing back all the old characters it was a chance for them to really fix, I guess you could say, a couple of things that they did wrong with some of the previous Spider-Mans because, let's face it, Jamie Foxx's Electro in his movie, it was meh, I mean it's very forgettable, but in this movie that my man had some shine, he had some funny lines, and I really enjoyed him. Only villain I enjoyed more than him was uh, Harry Osborn as the Goblin because that man just downright looked crazy, and he plays that crazy role very well in this movie. And like I said, I already liked the old Spider-Mans, but seeing them come back and seeing how all three of them interacted with each other and the chemistry that they had, man, it was it was fire. The pace of the movie was great. Um, I mean, it had some serious tones in there, and then they break it up with some really good comedy, which is Marvel is getting better and better at, in my opinion, but they really had some good comedy in here when it wasn't no serious moments, and when neither of those things was going on, we had some dope fighting. And in this movie, some people took some serious L's, because when I watch all the superhero movies, I'm like, man, y'all are God-level strength. Why is it every time y'all get to fight and somebody just get a busted lip or a cut over their eye? Ain't nobody really getting whooped on it, and then here, some folks got whooped on, and I was all for it. And that takes me to the visuals of this movie which was also outstanding. I mean everything looked good. The fights looked good, the special effects looked good, the CGI wherever it was used I couldn't even tell half the time if it was CGI special effects or what. That looked good. It was just a beautiful movie and then seeing like the the, the expansion of the multiverse and all it's it looked good y'all. What more can I say? And to bring it back to my intro when my partner said this is the best Marvel movie ever made I was like I don't know man because Iron Man 1 and Avengers 1 are the best for me. We wouldn't have this without Iron Man, and I just remember the first time when Avengers dropped and I was at the IMAX, you get to see this lineup of these star-studded superheroes, and it was just it was just a moment I'll never forget. But when I saw how they were going with this movie with all the old villains and all the old Spider-Mans, I did have a worry. I was worried that, hey man, what if they do too much? And what if the message gets, I guess you could say convoluted, because all the Spider-Mans were good in their own rights in their movies. So what if one of them came in and outshine Tom? How are the villains gonna fit in? Then we got Doctor Strange and all them, so I was worried about it being a jumbled mess, but I gotta say, man, they did it so good. Everybody got their shine when they needed it. Nobody really outshone the other person. It's like if one person had a really serious moment to get broken up by the funny characters, joking, and it, it all just flowed well and seamless. So. Thinking back to what my partner said about it being the greatest Marvel movie ever, I think I'm going to have to do a strong consideration on that. 
But I could honestly go on and on about this movie, but I don't want to do that because then I'm into that spoiler territory. So, for conclusion, Spider-Man No Way Home was a fantastic movie. Great acting, great pace, great visuals. It had everything. The story was good. It opens up for so many future movies. Almost gave you a spoiler. Make sure you stay for the end credits. It's two post-credit scenes. But with all that being said, I can't get this movie nothing else but legendary. Kudos to you, Spider-Man, for ending 2021 with a legendary. All right, so that's it for this one, folks. So for the comment convo today, I want you to let me know. Is Spider-Man No Way Home the greatest Marvel movie ever? If not, tell me what yours is in the comments below. Now, as always, if you like this video and you thought it rocked, like, comment, and subscribe to see more from me, Mike Prop. Later.